Monday night, the Prouds select the first round, Luca Casca from Niagara North. Well, we really liked, uh, obviously he can score as his first attribute. I mean, he really can put the puck into the net. Uh, there was lots of games we saw him score in many different ways and, and you know, be able to shoot through defensemen from top of the circles and pick a corner or get to the net and find a rebound. Um, we just felt that his style of goal scoring is one that can translate into the OHL pretty well and pretty quickly. Um, he has a 200 foot game that you don't see a lot in younger players where, you know, he's not going to cheat for offense. He's going to play the right way good roots on pucks in his own end. Um, and he's a bit of a Swiss army knife. Like if you want to put him on the power play, you can play there. If you want to put him on a penalty kill, he'll win draws and block shots. Um, so I think when you combine the, the goal scoring and the point production that you saw last year with just his overall game, it's pretty exciting to be able to work with a young man like that. And uh, the London Knights now checking in with the 14th choice of the second round, Sam O'Reilly out of the uh, Vaughn Kings, Anthony. Yeah, Sam's an intriguing one because he was a player that I thought kind of, as the year went on, he really took off and kind of his progression really took off. And, um, you know, he had, uh, he got sick partway through the year, had mono and, and that kind of, I think, set him back. And then as the season went on and he got healthy and feeling good again, then he really vaulted himself. And, and I think the second half of this season was you know, more indicative what type of player he's going to be than the first half. And um, we like Sam because he's kind of a throwback player that are getting harder and harder to find. He's in your face. Uh, he works all over the ice. He's never going to uh, turn down a check um, to be physical, to get to the net, to be around goal, like in front of the goalies and in their face and make it difficult on you. Um, but he has, he has the skill to be able to play with other skilled players. The uh, next pick uh, moving there, the London Knights have the uh, ninth pick in round number three. Uh, William Nickel, we go to the Ottawa Junior Senators program. Yeah, we with William, I think we went back to kind of what we, we always strive for, which is that skill and hockey sense and that, that creativity that you can find in players. And, um, you know, our coach Dale loves those type of guys that make plays and create two-on-ones all over the ice and use their teammates. I mean, if you look at his career, obviously he played hard, but he was a smart, heady player that liked to pass the puck and make plays and give and go. And, and Williams got that in him. You know, he skates really well. Uh, he makes plays, he makes players around him better. And he's the type of centerman you want to play with. Yeah, I mean, our goalie uh, scouts, Darren and Scott McChesney, um, really like Zachary. I mean, I think we had a little bit of an advantage. He's actually uh, really good friends with Oliver Bonk. And, uh, you know, Oliver, we talked to him and we like the skill set and the package there. But anytime you're scouting, you're trying to see, OK, you know, obviously he wasn't drafted the year before and and we really like him this year. What kind of happened? And we found out that he just had a down year and and it just didn't go as well from him from the start. And, you know, we found out from Oliver that, it, you know, this he'd been a top goalie all the way up in his age group. Yeah, we, we were really happy. I mean, you know, he's, a, he's I don't want to take away from his skill sets because I'll talk about that too, but he's just, you talk to him. I don't know if you ever spoke to him. He is a likable person, quality person. Like he's just energy all the time, positivity. Uh, he just looks you in the eyes, you know, Okay, you need to, you know, he came to our development camp, obviously, and we, uh, you know, we did off ice testing, on ice testing scrimmages. We gave him some feedback. He's like, you don't worry, I'll come back. I'm going to be ready to go. And he just, he just gives you that impression that he's just going to find a way to be a good player through his determination and his, his will. And um, obviously on ice, we like the size. Um, he skates well for a big player. Um, you know, can score goals, can make plays. Again, he's another player that's going to be, I think, in your face and he's going to play hard in his game, but he's got those little skill elements that are going to allow him to play up and down your lineup and in different roles. And I think when you combine that with the character he has and the determination, it's, it's a recipe for success.